Wars are coming in 2015, my friends. I'm talking about Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Hello, my friends. I am Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000, the best damn anime reviewing channel on YouTube. Now, I'm a pretty big anime fan, but I'm an even bigger fan of Star Wars. It's my absolute favorite film franchise of all time. I've loved it ever since I was a kid, and this year we are getting the brand new sequel, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, which is going to be a direct sequel to the original freaking Star Wars trilogy. So the hype is real. And the hype just reached over 9,000, my friends, because this week is Star Wars Celebration, the biggest Star Wars convention in the world, where the fans are going to come together to celebrate their favorite franchise. This week we're going to get a brand new trailer for Star Wars Episode 7. We're going to get our very first footage of Star Wars Battlefront, and we're also going to see a lot of promotional material and all types of cool merchandise that we're totally going to be able to waste our money on. But just today, before a trailer has even been released, we've gotten some brand new promotional material, some concept art, and some brand new posters that show off the brand new Stormtroopers and the villain of the film, Kylo Ren. So I just want to give my thoughts about how I feel about their designs and what I'm hoping to see from the brand new movie. So first, if you guys want to actually see these images, I will put a link for them in the description box below so that way you can see them in their highest quality possible. First, let's talk about the Stormtroopers. There are going to be a number of different looking Stormtroopers in this movie, and I love the fact that there's going to be more traditional looking ones, and we're going to see ones that we've never even seen before. So first, let's talk about the standard Stormtrooper. These are the guys we're going to see a lot of in this brand new movie. They pretty much look like your classic Stormtrooper, except some of the armor is a little more sleeker, looks a little more upgraded, but for the most part, it's your classic looking Stormtrooper. The helmet is the thing that looks the most different. It has a slightly redesigned look, it's a little smaller and a little more slimming, and they actually do look slightly more intimidating than they did before, but really, they're the same old goofy looking Stormtroopers who can't even hit the side of a damn barn with their blasters. They look like they're going to be a lot of fun. But there's also some other brand new Stormtroopers, some of which really just blow my mind with how unique they are. First, there are the flamethrower troopers. Just saying that is really awesome. And they look really cool as well. There's this one poster where there's a couple of them hanging out and it looks like they're actually burning down this village with their weapons. And they're standing right next to this other uh, stormtrooper who looks like he's kind of like in command of everything. He has this cape on. His helmet in particular looks a little different. It even has some silver on it. So it looks like he might be like a commander type or maybe even like an even bigger higher up in the brand new Imperial Army. And speaking of the Empire, they actually have a brand brand new symbol that you can actually see on the poster. If you remember the original Empire symbol kind of looked like a cog. Now it looks a little different. It's basically still sort of the same octagon shape, but it's just interesting to see it and to know that the Empire is going to be flourishing in this brand new movie and they're going to be the main antagonistic force. But now let's talk about arguably the coolest freaking character that I've seen from the Star Wars canon in quite some time, and that is going to be Kylo Ren, who may or may not be the villain of this movie. But just the fact that he's wearing all black, has a red lightsaber, which is that one that caused a lot of controversy, just shows that he's probably going to be a big antagonistic force for the movie. And his design looks awesome. He basically looks like a cybernetic Jedi ninja. That's the way his mask looks. And it is slightly reminiscent of Darth Vader's in some senses, but it still has its own unique design. And what I love most about it is that it still just keeps him incredibly mysterious, just like Darth Vader. We really don't know anything about Kylo Ren. When you see him, you basically just see this badass cyber ninja, and that's really all you're going to be able to get from him. What his voice is going to sound like is still a complete mystery. What I understand is that he's not actually going to be the same actor as Andy Serkis, who was shown in the trailer. He was actually the one doing that voice. It uh, is not going to be him. So there's a lot of mystery to this character, why he's working with the Empire. And I only say he's working with the Empire because in all of the main posters, you can see him standing with all of the brand new Imperial forces. And you can even see some of the brand new ships, such as some TIE fighters, some brand new Imperial shuttles, which again, pretty much look almost identical to their original forms, just with some slight redesigns to them. But Kylo Ren himself, just God, he looks so awesome. He's easily going to be one of the most popular cosplay uh, costumes that you're going to see at all the big conventions this year. Everybody's going to be trying to replicate that brand new lightsaber. And even in all the posters, you can see he's using that lightsaber. So even though the fan base was very vocal about the fact that some of them didn't like it, they're not getting rid of it. We are going to be seeing more of that badass lightsaber in this movie. And frankly, I can't wait to see more from it. 
Why Kylo Ren is even around is still just a mystery. I think one of the biggest theories that people are trying to come up with is that he's basically trying to become the next Darth Vader. There's been a lot of leaked concept art of him literally holding the old burnt helmet of Darth Vader. I don't even know how he would have obtained this. Literally, this would have meant that at the end of Return of the Jedi, after Luke Skywalker had just burned his father and had his whole, like, big ceremony, he didn't get rid of the body. He just sort of left the armor there for someone to pick up, and I don't know if that was a good idea or not, and I don't even know how that's going to come into play with this whole Kylo Ren thing, but still, I am beyond excited. I love the design of it. I will say, the minute I saw it, though, it instantly made me think of Darth Revan, from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The actual, like, mask that he's using looks very similar to that, where it has, like, the ninja mask look. You can see, like, the visor across the eyes, but you still can't, like, see any facial features whatsoever, which leads me to believe that there's probably another twist with this character. For all we know, Kylo Ren couldn't even be human. He could be something else entirely. He could be uh, a freaking droid. He could be some sort of weird cyborg, maybe somewhat similar to what we saw with General Grievous and Darth Vader. There's a lot of mystery behind this character. All I know is I'm really excited I hope you guys are too, but that's just my thoughts about these uh, brand new promotional images which just came out. Just stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of brand new Star Wars material coming out over the course of the next couple days. Lots of brand new posters. I'm really waiting for that trailer, which I'm going to do a full reaction to, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But like I said, if you guys want to take a look at these pictures, they will be in the description box below. If you already had a chance to look at them, please tell me what you think about the brand new designs. Do you like the brand new look of the Stormtroopers? Do you like the design of Kylo Ren? Do you think that lightsaber is awesome? Do you think it's stupid? What do you hope to see from the brand new Star Wars movie, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like it. Make sure to share it with all of your friends. Make sure to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. And also you can follow us on social media. That's Facebook and on Twitter. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, may the force be dandy, baby.